Well, here we are, guys, and um, we're at the top of Tomato Peak now. I'm just going to make my way up from the car park to the top, and then we'll get a bit of a, a better view from there. Now, obviously, for those of you that want to take the old pathway, there's a beautiful pathway just here. Um, feel free, head on up the old pathway, but I am going to take the rugged way. So it gets my heart going. I'm just jogging up here a little bit at the moment. There we go. That's it, just keep jogging. Keep the old legs moving. Getting too old now, so I need to keep those legs moving. Anyway, we're here. Right, we're now at the top of the peak, to Murder Peak. So, anyway, from here, as you can see, what a beautiful sight that is. It's a sight for sore eyes, my God. Where we're looking at Way down there is the plains that take you down south, heading down towards Palmerston North and then off to Wellington. So that's heading south there and coming back around now, you can see the plains running through into the Hawkesbury area. Now, I hope you can see how green it is down there. That's why it has its own sort of microclimate down in there in the bay. You're looking directly into Hastings, which is this big, built up area around here. This is Hastings and a way way in the distance you can see the ranges. That's the Kawaka Ranges and then the ranges over here are called the Ruahini Ranges and over there we have the summit. That's heading up north towards um, Taupo which is another one. It's a crater lake. It's about 25 miles long and when it went up many years ago the volcanic eruption they said that it could be seen as far away as China so anyway here we go this is what I promised you this is Hawks Bay and you can see it's absolutely wonderful now the ranges here currently are all brown why because we've just gone through a very and we're still going through it we're going through a very 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 hot spell currently so everything up here is pretty dry down here you've got the Tuki Tuki River Tuki Tuki well, the, the reason they call it Tuki Tuki is an old Maori saying. And basically, it means revenge. So when that river is in full flood, all the way down through, then trust me, it is in full flood and it goes down with a, a revenge. So it goes from here all the way down. Let me tell you a little bit of a story here. When I was living here in, um, in Hawke's Bay, a, fish and game warden for quite a few years in the 90s early early 2000 and my job really was to um, from the bridge here the bridge just over here right the way down through all the way down right down to a bridge way way down in the distance called the black bridge so that was my area of responsibility what would I do well I would go out there and I would check anglers to make sure they're licensed they've got their correct equipment and they're overfishing etc and then the, the shooting season then obviously we would check to make sure people were licensed again to go out there and shoot pheasants grouse uh, grouse pheasants quail uh, ducks anything you know any sort of fowl anyway and down here this place here is Craggy Range it's a beautiful vineyard as you can see an amazing vineyard a winery and also a restaurant etc is very very wonderful place we'll get you down there one time because there's lots and lots of wineries and vineyards and so on and that will be our next next time port of call as you can see over there there's part of the bay running all the way through and it goes all the way through up to Napier Napier in the distance, a little point over there, that's Napier, that's the other part of Hawkesbury itself, heading up towards Wairoa, Wairoa up here, and then further up to Gisborne on the east coast. So yeah, what a beautiful place. I love this place, but it has a lot of bad memories for me um, in relationship to, um, you know, my life in the past. Not, not as a criminal or anything like that. Um, just bad memories. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there can relate to where I'm actually coming from. So there you go. This is um, the sunny Hawke's Bay on the top of Tomato Peak. 
and um, here we have a chart of the whole of the bay and it gives you all of the names of the little towns in and around heading south south here we are basically located there where it says Havelock North that's it the bluff hill over here which is Napier heading up to Mohaka, Wairoa um, and then the Mahia Peninsula, Peninsula and then up to Lake Waikaremoana which is a great five day walk for any of you hikers who want to get out and do it Lake Waikaremoana I've done it once and it is absolutely fantastic beautiful views, beautiful sight anyway um, it is very hot there is absolutely no one up here and as they say the old saying goes mad dogs and Englishmen well I'm across I was born across the border from England um, Englishman originally born in Edinburgh in Scotland but lived out here in New Zealand for a very very long time and um, yeah just back here on a, a long term visit not allowed out the country can't fly out the country until obviously everything is lifted the COVID and the, the borders open the, the flights again and then I will be heading to the Philippines where I will just continue with all of these um, vlogs for you so here we are I'm the only one here um, maybe it's me I don't know I don't know whether I put my aftershave on this morning or whether it aftershave stinks but anyway this is tomato peak so I'm just going to head on back down and hopefully we'll get this one off to you later today so if you're really interested in visiting New Zealand as and when the world becomes free again and we can fly all over the place then feel free I would I would recommend it this is nothing compared to the rest of New Zealand New Zealand is so beautiful it's it's an unbelievable place the people here are generally nice you know it's much similar to most countries you're going to get bad ones you're going to get good ones but generally they will help you they're very very nice and um yeah it's certainly worth a visit when I first come here I had a camper van for three months and my god I loved it I had the freedom to go where I wanted you can you can actually park up we have freedom parks they're called here where you can just park your camper up park your tent up whatever they, they give you free toilet system free water you know and it, it's great freedom parks feel safe here not like some countries in the world where you just wouldn't get away with it because You'd just be putting yourself into danger and there's no point in doing that so yeah I would suggest if you intend to come here then please do it this light this Sun is getting a little bit strong now and it's getting a little bit intense um, the hottest period is not here yet but anyway feel free google it Hastings Hawks Bay to Peak, and I'm sure I'm sure it will instill some feeling inside that you really want to go and try and lots of adventures here my god bungee jumping up here on the top I forgot to show you there's a platform there where you can go off with your glider your paraglider or whatever you want to call these things and just just enjoy the place okay you've got um, a bit of air on the legend of Tamara Peak I'm not going to read it out to you it's a little bit long but um, you can google it I know it's actually on Google and um, yeah so it gives you a bit of better insight than me reading it out to you right well that's it guys um, that was quite quick and brief but at the end of the day it's not how long it takes me to do this I don't want to bore people because you've got you've got 20 minutes 25 minutes to to read through it the shorter I can keep them around the sort of 10 minute area is, is perfect um, because you can pick up a hell of a lot more from that than sitting getting bored and just switching off so anyway guys I really appreciate you looking in this is Alex Hill from the top of Tomato Peak don't forget before you go you know what you got to do hit the old like hit the subscribe and if you really want to see some more from me then please press the little bell and then no doubt we will catch up with you that's Alex from the top of Tomato Peak until next time we've got two people they crept up on me 
my god they they crept up on me but anyway i'm sure they will enjoy they won't be up here for too long he's okay he's got a hat on the girl is struggling a wee bit but hey at least she's done it they've probably walked up there's no vehicle here that i can see so anyway from the top of tomato peak see you guys stay safe until next time bye bye